Hey everyone, today we're going to make sea salt jellyfish and we're going to start with a piece of watercolor paper. I'm going to have you write your name on the bottom right hand corner, maybe on the back. Write your name on the back. Alright, the first thing you're going to do is take some water and and just go over over your paper with just um, just get it all wet. Just get the entire paper wet. We're going to do a thin watercolor wash. So you got some blue here and I'm going to add a bunch of water to it. I want it to be super light color, super light color because we want that bright colorful jellyfish to pop out. So I'm just adding a very thin blue wash over my paper. All right, then it's going to need to dry. Next, I'm going to draw the shape of a jellyfish with glue. If you want to very lightly try to draw it with pencil first, that's a good idea. And kind of a dome shape. And then the bottom is going to be like a little bit curly. And then I'm going to need to fill that all in. I'm going to finish the outline first. I'm going to do some kind of thin wispy tentacles that are just like one little thin line. And then I'm going to do others that are kind of like a little bit thicker. So I'm going to fill that in. These ones are kind of squigglier and thicker. And I'm going to fill them in. And then maybe a, a few more of those thin single lined ones. They can kind of over cross over each other too. If you have room on the bottom of your paper and you want to try to do like a little bit of seaweed coming up from the bottom of the ocean floor, you can do that. You can do single lines or you can fill them in like I'm doing with this one right here. Single lines, this is just meant to be kind of some seaweed coming up off the floor. You need to have a paper underneath you while you're doing this, by the way. All right, now I'm gonna fill this in right here. If you start to feel like you're using a ton of glue, one thing you can do is you can use a popsicle stick and just kind of spread out the glue that you already have on there. That way the glue won't take quite as long to dry. So that works. And then if you need to kind of add some extra glue in, you can, but that way it's just not like a made huge crazy puddle. And then the top of the jellyfish is going to get filled in also with glue. Got to be kind of patient. Once I have a decent amount of glue there, I can start kind of using my popsicle stick to spread it out. As long as the whole thing is filled in with glue, that's, that's good. And one other area I'm going to fill in is like right here. Got another line here. We can cross over each other. Another one here. And then fill, fill in.
It looks a little bit thin up in here, so I'm going to add some more glue. What you're going to do is you're going to take some salt, you make sure your whole area is covered, and you're going to very gently whoops, shake some salt on top of your jellyfish. Cover the whole jellyfish with salt evenly. Try to do a nice even layer covering over all of the glue on your paper. Whoops, oops, that might happen. If that happens, you can kind of shake it around like this a little bit, I think. If you get any major piles, you can kind of shake them around and use them. Try not to waste the salt. It's kind of, can be kind of tricky, but do your best. So once you have it like this, you're going to need to pick it up and carry it over to a garbage. Can you stop? You have you covered in salt. You're going to hold it over a garbage can and gently shake off the extra salt. You can kind of tap it on the back. Whoops, I'm losing some of my fish there. I can go back and patch that up with more glue and salt if I want. Don't tap it too hard because see how some of it's falling off. So just, just gently enough that all the pieces that don't have glue um, can stay on there. Then you're going to carry it flat back to your seat and once you're back in your seat you can add some glue and a little bit more salt to any of the areas that might have fallen off and, and repeat this process. Might be a little bit messy and imperfect and that's okay. The next step is we're gonna take some either food coloring or liquid watercolor and we're going to, um, we can do pipettes or we can do it with paint brushes. So you can take a paint brush and add your, your color. Ooh, that looks so cool. You can add your color like that. And then um, just make sure you clean your brush if you're gonna switch colors. So maybe for my seaweed, I want like a little bit of green and a little bit of yellow. So I can do some yellow in here like this. And then maybe I want the two colors to kind of blend. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean my brush. And I, if you want, I could, you could even try it with the pipettes. You could do just a little bit of, you might find that you have a bit more control with the the brush but just experiment and see and then maybe I could just go back over it with my brush just experiment and see so you're painting directly on the salt and here's the other the other one that works pretty well looks good so same thing with the jellyfish you can choose whatever colors you want And use your paintbrush to kind of blend them together like that and just um, add add color to your jellyfish so be really careful not to add too much liquid color anywhere because it gets really puddly and makes a big mess I've been adding colors with my watercolor tray and uh, just re-wetting them with the pipette as, as needed. And uh, make sure, as always, keep your brush really clean when you're switching colors. So um, pinch, windshield wiper, then dip in the water, and then you can pinch, windshield wiper, and then um, you already got a lot of water in this, but you can, you can go and get what color you want. So just very gently with my brush on here. And yeah, keep doing that. You can kind of blend the colors together too in different areas. So I've got purple, blue right here, and I might want to add um, kind of different color, some different color purple next to this kind of bluish purple, and maybe some red.
And now I'm gonna add some maybe red next to this because I think that would look super cool. I'm gonna try that. Get that all kind of blending together. And then a nice way, if I'm, I'm wanting more nice, I can just use a little, put in a couple drops there. Just keep some more red. If I feel like it's getting too dark, I can add some more water and kind of lighten up lighter colors. 